Welcome back to my channel. This is Real Talk Bougie. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure to subscribe, set your notifications so that you can be notified every time I go live, post another video, do a community post, and all of the things. The video that we're getting ready to watch is a reaction to a recent upload from our friends at Phone Calls from Prison, a YouTube channel we love to watch. This is from July 2nd of 2023, and Sonia has gone to visit Nesto at Cobb County Adult Detention Center, and we are watching, reacting, commenting, and doing everything, and discussing it along the way. So welcome, get your snack, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Is this going to play? Why is this not playing? Okay, let's see. After all of that. Okay, here we go. Oh, maybe this. Uh, guys, you're not going to even. Girl, the volume was down. My God. How you doing today? They got you on a blur today, don't they? Let me turn this. Yeah, you look blurry back there in the back. But I can see that pretty green shirt on. When she said that was four <laughs> ponytails put together, all I could think of was, are that you better? serious? Yeah, that's that much better. better. Yeah, that's yeah. better. Clean the camera. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Fine. How are you? I'm trying to just keep my hair focused, and it's, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my hair focused, but it's very, very hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Hard. I know. I know. Yeah, no true. distractions, and then everything just seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what it's saying. Like, it's like getting worse and worse and worse. It's saying like my, little, my, my defense ain't just not showing up strong enough. You got to get on that man's level. That's what that is. Yeah. Well, how you doing today? What's your schedule today? What you can, we're going to make about you today, not me, because my life is really just gone. <laughs> it's, not gone. it's gone. Man, I'm not going to be able to walk on the street, man. I'm not going to be able to walk on the street. To, when this is over and done, you don't have to stay here. Yeah. It don't matter where I go. Everybody knows me, so it don't, even, it don't matter where I go. Uh, you talking about here in the states? We going to Ghana? <laughs> no. See, okay, we'll stay here and deal with it. I mean, she's affecting his paranoia. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of anxiety, and she is activating his paranoia. And she really should stop. She's not a good friend. Oh, okay. So, what you what you got going on? What do I have going on today? Yeah, you look nice today. It's nothing. I have nothing going on today. You got, you got nothing. That's a pretty shirt you got on. It look a little big. <laughs> oh my well, god, he's so annoying. Short. Oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, 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 that's the way it's supposed to be. Ye
Oh, okay, and okay. It stops at my it stops at my pants at my waist. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, I'll so take let a me picture. Hear, Okay, thank you. So let me hear your thought process in life. What's going on? Um, yeah, just gotta focus. You know. His conversation is so corny. He, I don't know how he pulled the ladies, um, because his. He wants a lady to have to work too much. Like, what's your thought, past ass? What's you got going on? It's like, sir, you don't have nothing to say. You've been in the hole over here at this jail for how long? Talking to a bunch of other numbskulls, and you can't take the opportunities. You don't have nothing to say to me. You don't have a word. Um, my God, his his he has no like he has no rap, right? No swag. Mm -hmm. And you start, your job, you start your job. On the 11th, I start my job, the other job. Oh, okay. 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 That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm a, uh, probably, I want to go get an orange purse. So I think I want to go to, um, I bought these <laughs> shoes yesterday. Why does she waste her money on all those ugly clothes? An orange purse? She's one of these lost in a time warp type chicks who thinks that they need to have a purse for every outfit. And if that's what you do out there, sis, I don't know it. Don't be offended. And nobody, I'm not talking to you for, you know, don't be offended. But it's not necessary. You should have a couple of really good purses. You can buy whatever price range you think is appropriate for you. But you really only need a range. And you don't need every freaking color. It's not a flex anymore. Um, if you really have the drip to carry off matching purse and matching shoes type deal, wonderful. Wonderful. There's very few people who do that very well and looks put together and not doing too much. Um in 2024, it's not necessary. It really is not. Um, but this woman of modest means is sitting, she looks a lot like her sister right here, too, doesn't she, Tanya? The one who was running around with the thong at the hard rock. Um, she looks a lot like her at this moment with her hair like that. Anyway, um, ma'am seems to be someone who is living hand to mouth because I don't, I don't get how she's dropping all of this money to pay for these phone calls, which these calls add up. Um, and then come to see him. She says she's paying $4,000 a month for rent. She must've blew all of her lump sum from her social security. And I just don't see where I don't, I don't see her living um, a certain type of lifestyle. I see her going through her settlement money and um, it's a shame that a woman at her age would take 12, you know, let's just say even $10,000 and throw it on communicating with someone in this situation rather than trying to just go put it in a, a high yielding investment at the bank or just put it in a mutual fund and say, you know what, let me see what this does in 10 years. Um, put Take that money and just forget about it until you are in your 60s. Because in today's economy, you never know what could happen with that money. And it's just a little nest egg. Not that $10,000 is a lot, but it's a better investment than putting all this time and money into this guy who stays in trouble. He stays in trouble. There are some people where you just have to leave them where they're at. And there is no amount of investment and love and blue nails and ponytails that is going to make them be any different from who they are, which is someone who attracts trouble. And this is what Nesto is. I, I don't know if Nesto is a nice guy. I just know that he seems to lie a lot. He seems to stay in trouble a lot, and he has a history, a documented history in Fulton County and many others of trying to cheat people. And that's not somebody who I would ever, me personally, would ever want to know. I bought these shoes, and they're really cute and busy and all of that. So I was like, I should buy a purse to match it. 
Because mm-hmm. they're such a busy shoe, you can only like wear like a white tee and jeans with it. Mm-hmm. So, um, but that silver like, that silver bag's not good enough. Those that white bag is not good enough. Like she's looking for things. She buys cheap stuff, and she wants it to look. She wants to be like. I don't know. She wants to be a fashion blogger or something. I don't know what she wants to do, but sis, it's not giving what you think is giving. You look silly. And if what you're buying is to just stroll up into Cobb County, you got to be out of your mind. Orange purse. A little orange purse. A little orange purse. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to... um. If I were Nesto at that moment, I would say when I get out of here, I don't ever want to see orange again. Lennox. I was looking online yesterday. I didn't find anything. I think I'm going to probably go to Lennox. Uh, or either Nordstrom Rack. Oh, okay, okay. Charge, charge my car and go to Nordstrom Rack. This is or, hard to get out. Hmm. Or what? Go ahead, I'm listening. I thought I was gonna make my son. She said I'm gonna charge my card first. This is a trick that ain't got no money. I'm gonna charge my card. How you like the fact that she has to deliberate on how she's gonna pay for something? That just told me right there, sis is broke. She didn't have any cash. If she still had that Social Security settlement. Girl, go run pay with your debit card. She's oh, I'm gonna go use my card. Like that girl, you're 55. However, you pay for it is how you pay for it. But the fact that she has to, like, she's trying to think of where she's got some money available to go buy something tells me right there, sis ain't got no money. Okay, take me. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, make him take it so y'all can spend time together. Quality time is always good because you never know how life's going to treat you. You just don't know how this shit going to spin. I, I, sat, I sat with him on Friday night. What was that, Friday night? I think I, me and him laid and watched Thursday or Friday. We laid in the bed and watched that series that we watch every week. We, we hung out for like an hour or two. We I, laid in the bed. I'm not going to say a word. We laid in the bed and watched that series. Okay, look, I don't I don't have a son. I know me and my daughter snuggle and watch TV and all that, but okay, sis. Fed him and then I left. So we got our weekend. Look at his face. He's he's trying to think of think of something to say. You know, he won't he won't be trying to spend too much time with me. He looks like he's on froze. <laughs> you know, this week now, went by real. Cool have- Girl, and because he didn't know what to say, he changed the topic. Hang with your mother. Well, a mother like you, it should be cool. <laughs> you think, right? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm kept. I'm there. But um, he was like, nah, you're still my mother, so. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's truly understandable. That's truly. That's, oh, I got two people visiting behind you? Huh? There's two people visiting behind you. That's a, a, a son and a mom. Oh, okay. okay. Nesto, what's the so? Like, what does it matter if there's two people visiting behind her? Like, I guess because he can't, he he doesn't have anybody to come visit him like that. So, girl. Okay. So I didn't ask. I'm gonna ask on my way out. Uh, how, I'm, we ain't gonna worry about it because old boy ain't call, and I started to call him and say, you know. If you were supposed to be his friend and you couldn't do it, that would have been fine. But you're making him, you're leading him to believe that you're going to do something, you know? Right. Okay. And just, now, the, and just the ghost them. That's just that's just foul. But so at this moment, for those of you who may not know, they're talking about Daryl. Daryl is the friend who didn't want to be in the wedding because he didn't want to be photographed. That's what Nesto said. So if. Uh, Daryl went to go see Nesto two times, okay? And um, I don't know. It, Dar- Dar- he talked to Daryl on the phone. And we know, I'm sure Daryl is ghost now, period. Go- Daryl was at behaving ghost before he got exposed on the YouTube streets. And he hadn't even actually all the way been exposed because the videos are in members only on phone calls from prison. Um, but we know who he is. Right. And at the end of the day, um, I I don't see him picking up the phone anymore at all. And this was before the calls started being played online. Um, and of course, way before the videos ever turned up. So, um, Daryl, I'm sure is gone for good at this moment. 
that just shows your relationship, your true relationship. Right, right, people right. Are like, you know what? I don't have that, but I got a thousand. All right, fine, no problem. You know. Or right. Yes, Nordstrom Rack is very attainable. Um, and you know, I mean, Nordstrom is pretty decent too, but it's just, it was just giving sis stop talking. And also, why don't you save, like, why don't you shop your closet? I mean, I'm not going to get into that whole conversation, but it's like, it sounds like she buys a lot of fast fashion and there's nothing wrong with that either, but it's like, damn girl, an orange purse for what? And then look at these faces she makes. You know, one thing I really um, noticed about Sonya too is that she really does reside a lot in a very masculine energy. Even though she's a very feminine presenting woman, she likes to do her hair, she wears makeup and jewelry, and she dresses um, feminine uh, to, you know, she she has a, her way. Um, she She just doesn't, she rather pick a struggle than have a decent man. I'm sure that at some point or other, someone decent has stepped up to try to want to get to know this woman, but she is a struggle. She will pick a struggle and a challenge over somebody who wants to actually be a, the man in her life. Who would, who, like, that's the mystery to me. Like she, she really doesn't want anybody. She just wants to struggle. She likes to complain. Wow, that's the that's only reason why she's with this. But it was me. They know I'm a ride and die. But see, that that's that's cool. That's one less person you got to worry about. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is true. This is this is true. I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm gonna get past this here. I'm gonna get past it. It's gonna take a minute though. It's gonna take a minute. But I'm gonna get past. It. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like I'm dead right now. Straight up. I just feel like I'm just straight dead. Not dead. You just sat back. That's all. I wouldn't call it dead. It's a huge setback. And it's gotta be it's a fight. It's not gonna be a yeah. fair fight, of course, because you know they lying. But this is my thing too, guys. Keep in mind, so this is July 2nd, right? And he's finding out about the um you know, he's getting all of these additional charges, right? At this moment, he still doesn't even have bail on the essay, right? He just got bail on the essay in February. He never even had bail on the essay. So he's calling Daryl for bail money in July, in July, but he didn't even have bail yet on the essay charges that just got assigned when they did the impact statements that day when Dennis and Pam were in court. That was in February or the beginning of March. I can't remember the exact date, but it was fairly recently. OK, so you're talking about the eight months later. So you're sitting there mad because Daryl didn't come through. But Daryl didn't even need to. I mean, it's eight months later. Now he got the bond. Now he's sitting at one point one million dollars. Daryl probably owes him. You think Daryl owes him? Interesting, interesting uh, theory. Um, so yeah, you guys drop your theories. Why didn't Daryl come? I think Daryl just didn't want to be seen. I think, I think Daryl doesn't want to be seen and won't be seen moving forward. Okay. Um, she put Big Mustard living situation out there. No, but Big Mustard's living situation was already out there because she was on Tasha K. And she told Tasha K that she was out here selling her putty cat and, um, and that she was homeless. So, yes, it was discussed on her channel, Big Mustard. Um, but it was already out there because they got together on some let's, let's, um, you know, let's trauma bond over our Tasha K experience. Um, I did a video on it. I think it's in members. I'll bubble it up. Um, I will bubble it up. I think it was part of a member live or something, but there, um, I'll share it with you guys. Cause I don't even know. I think I recorded it and I, I cut it out or something. Um, uh, Madison is the one who lives at a hotel and is a wannabe 
wannabe rapper. Or I don't know what she, you know what I'm saying? Stiletto. She's the stiletto boss lady. And I think she raps and things like that. Um, that was Madison. Uh, she put, she put mustard out there too now. Um, uh, but mustard's business was already out there to your point. Um, but yeah, Madison, she put out there as well. Um, okay. Girl. Yes. If you watch the Tasha K interview, her being, um, if you watch the Tasha K interview, Carl Thomas, baby mom. Yes. She talks about escorting. Mm hmm. Daryl does not. Daryl does want to be pulled out. No, I would. Daryl does not want to be pulled out into this mess. Absolutely. Daryl knows what's up with him. I think he's in deep with the trafficking ring. And really, that's so assumptions, right? Assumptions. Um, and on some, girl, we just speculating. Daryl, sir, we don't know you, okay? Don't get it to We don't know you, Daryl. Um, mm, interesting theory. Daryl's in the bushes. He saw what happened to Dre and decided to keep quiet, a snack and a meal. Daryl isn't jeopardizing his security clearance or privacy messing with Nesto, girl, on this sure Nesto business, okay? Um, stilettos and bullet house, okay? Um, Daryl knows nasty, keeps getting in trouble and not wasting his time, okay? Not Tomcat. Daryl doesn't want to be part of nasty and his shenanigans. It just sounds worse when I whisper it. <laughs> so they in the same line of work, okay? Hort, ho, how, how, how's, okay? Um, I saw Big Mustard telling the same tire story on TikTok. Yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 yes. Um, mostly every. You know, I I recorded something about her, and I. I thought twice about putting it out because I I thought for a minute, I don't want to run any traffic to her channel. I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to be even be responsible for that. Um, not to say that I can run some traffic, but I, I think I, I've, I've run some traffic before. Uh, and I, I just didn't want to put that out because, yeah, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to give her any free promo, no shine, no nothing. She's, Son she wants to be Sonya's friend, good, okay? Um, so, yeah, just let that, just let that go. Um, anywho, uh, but yeah, I will, I will send it in members' direction for y'all to, it's a little bit of a compilation. She was also on um, Kendra G. She was on Kendra G, and it was the most ghettoest Kendra G appearance ever she was on kendra g and kendra g is talking any of you guys who know kendra g um it's like a dating um singles on instagram right and big mustard comes on there uh daryl knew at knew that at damn wedding girl that that damn wedding was fake okay and he yeah so he declined accordingly um so um she was on Kendra G and she basically is getting started and she's asking her, what are you looking for? What do you do? Da, 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 da. And she immediately is like, I have a famous baby father. Like I have six kids. I have this, I have that. And I have a famous baby father. And I mean, it was, it was just that from there. And it was so ghetto, so many interruptions. Um, then she's sitting there talking and then there's a man standing in the background man or male or female. I don't know who it was, but it was one of her big kids. Okay. I think she has six kids. Every kid has a different father. And, um, one of them was like dead standing right in the background. It was the most ghettoist as if Kendra G show, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's what it is, right? People are in their home, they're cooking, they're doing whatever, and they're looking for a date and um a mess. So the person who said you saw her on TikTok, you may have seen the TikToks of her giving her post date wrap up girl i just i didn't want to put that out on my channel cuz i i didn't she she is giving train wreck and she probably would be more suitable for my other channel love lies and lace fronts but like i said i did not want to run her any traffic i just did not i that's why i let it i just kind of dropped it where it was but if you guys want it i'll put it in members court so no that's not going to be fair it's not going to be fair at all 
Not at all. Mm. Mm. So how did your uh, dinner go? Oh, it's cool. Food was nasty. Um, drink was nasty. And I left my home. <laughs> On the toilet the whole night, you know how I got, you know how I be. Yeah, yeah, damn, damn, sad situation. How how was uh Sydney doing? She she calmed down. I talked to Sydney yesterday briefly. She was trying to have me do something, but I don't remember because it was loud in her background and she wasn't really clear on it. So I don't know. She fine. Katie fine. I talked with Katie yesterday. I talked with all the kids yesterday. Okay, everybody swell, swell. Okay, you think Dion is okay? Or he's spazzing out? You think he's going to be okay? Or? He happy. He got his little gun. Choo-choo. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. He went to the shooting range and all that, huh? Went to the shooting range. Yep, he got certified with, with the little trainer, you know, uh, Philly. I mean, what Dion could they be talking about? Is Dion a felon? Because um, if he's a felon, he can't get a gun. But I guess, I don't know, girl. Don't get me to... I don't even know, but I'm what I mean. Maybe they know more than one Dion. Who work at the club as a certified um, trainer for guns or whatever. So he went and he got um got all his paperwork legitimized. So maybe she's not talking about Dion Dion uh, Nesto's son. He's got to be talking about Dion. Some they are different Dion. So he can carry legally. I told him, you know, if whenever you get pulled over, if ever, if and when you ever get pulled over, just unload it. Separate it and throw it all in the back seat on the floor. Oh, don't, don't damn. leave it in the front. You, well, you have to because they always act like they're so scared, you know, so terrified. But if it's in the back seat on the floor, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here with, with my hands, there's no way I can get to it without making oh. a huge, you know. So right, you can't shoot right, me unless, right. I, unless you see me jumping in the back seat because I already told you it's on the back seat, unloaded on the floor. I I wouldn't, carry. Should, I wouldn't follow her advice on how to find the the uh, aisle to get the milk in the grocery store. Like her advice is useless. I would not take her advice on nothing. You hear me? You got to just, you know what I'm saying? You got to do something like that in order for them to say, okay, it was just, it could have never been a justify. If you, even if you shoot him, it's never just. Why? Her mind just goes to, you know. Like she just immediately, which, you know, it's interesting that she thinks this way because she immediately um, has, she can immediately draw up like six scenarios on anything. And it's interesting that she has that type of thought process. However, she's so dumb. She can't use it for good. And um, it, it's scary to some people like she can't, she doesn't even think of anything positive. It's always criminal. It's always cringy. It's always dramatic. It's always crazy. Like it's like, sis, calm the hell down. Justified if the gun is in the back unloaded on the floor. They, de they definitely got to put some cameras inside that car. Cause I don't trust nothing right now. I trust nothing, nothing. right now. You got to yeah. get a phone holder and press your phone and on, on, on what's the name? You really got to go on live so that it, it's, it's feeding, you know what I'm saying? Live. Right. You really got to go on live. Go on Facebook live and let everybody see you get pulled over and get arrested. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's a clown. Says, gotta, she is a it's clown. Like climate, but that's, that's the police of the United States. Damn, this shit said that you can't even go down the street and enjoy your own car. Can't enjoy nothing. I wish someone would send him a bottle of shampoo. He's gonna be terrified is... the whole time. Somebody, some yes, man got on some tight chinos. Look at that. He's gonna be terrified is... the whole time. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, because you are. Even if y'all you... SpongeBob SquarePants has walked through. Can't enjoy nothing. Just. Uh, hey, it's Dre. Dre came to visit Nesto. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> Tried the whole time. Yes, you are. Yes, because you are. Even if you, even if you say, "Okay, it's the police," 
<laughs> are they gonna fairly, you know what I'm saying, pull me over? Are they gonna fairly arrest me? Do I even deserve to be arrested? And in most cases, in all these videos that I'm watching, these people shouldn't even be like these police shouldn't even be walking up Girl, saying tight, anything tight. to these people. They get in a little mood when I want to fuck with somebody, and then they start fucking with people. I made a police podcast. Wow. So did you make? She said she needs a police podcast. You you can't report to work. You can't seem to do anything two days in a row. So you she needs did she say she needs to have a police podcast? Oh, your point, miss. Made a police podcast. I wanna fuck with somebody and then they start fucking with people. Made a police podcast. Wow. So did you make up I need a police podcast? She's a nut. She is she needs a she needs you know how uh, diabetics have a pump. She needs a pump of Ativan or some sort of tranquilizer. Um, she needs a steady flow. Uh, look at the faces she makes. She has, if resting bitchy face was a person, she lit she lives. She is the personification of resting bitchy face lifestyle. Oh, uh, your apartments, uh, <laughs> Uh, she just she can't stop making faces. She needs she needs Xanax bars. She needs everything. She needs this like a milk punch. She needs it's time. Yeah, it's time. It's time for your Adderall, girl. Okay, we'll we'll get this podcast. back on track. I need wow. a police podcast. So did you make all girl? That was Dre. Girl, did you see that? Look at that. Hold on. Made a police podcast. Wow. So uh uh, that's Dre. Dre, we didn't know you were over there at Cobb County. Look how sir's walking, too. Okay, sir. With your little tight pants on. Okay. Okay, Dre. We're fucking with people. I don't know why I'm so amused. Made a police podcast. Wow. So did you? <laughs> God bless our county employees. Okay? Make all your appointments. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to go to the emergency I'm... room when I get to I've Florida. Seen, I've seen uh, Ham Hawk. <laughs> Girl, who's Ham Hawk? Yeah. Who's Ham Hawk? Ham Hawk? Oh, he called the man Ham Hawk? What? He's so rude. That was rude. See, Nesto, that's why you're sitting up locked up. Ham Hawk is walking around, Okay. Ham Hawk's walking around, enjoying his day, and guess and, and making money, and he's gonna get to go home and sleep not on a cot, up under the uh, the vent, blowing out snowballs. Okay, see that's why you're sitting under a vent that is freezing. Okay, Ham Hawk is gonna go home. You gonna okay? go sweat now, pretty teeth? Oh my god, did you see that? Yeah, at least you ain't uh, like that going on. So what you say you're gonna go to the emergency room? Oh, I, I have know not that. ate today. Like I haven't ate today, so I'm flat, 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 flat. I'm good. Damn. Um, I missed it. What happened? <laughs> you're funny. Look what happened? What happened? They fail. Nothing Why is fail. he even commenting? Nesto seems to notice everybody's um, appearance. The men, the men's and the females. It's crazy. Oh, I say so. You said you're gonna go to the mercy room when? When I get there, when I get to Miami, probably um, Tuesday after work. Monday's gonna be. I gotta get the keys to the office because I, I gotta. So it's Sunday, and he's asking her, "Has she gone to the doctor?" She says, "No, I'm gonna just go to the emergency room when I get to Miami." Ma'am, just say you don't want to go. Why don't you stop complaining? And then he's going to stop checking to see if you go to the doctor. Why don't you just stop complaining? And then he's not going to ask you anymore about you taking care of yourself because you're you're not going to. I'm going to meet um, a client on Tuesday for an estate issue. And um, then after that, because um, I'm going to go Tuesday. Tuesday around Tuesday. 2 o'clock. Okay, so right. Um, then after that, because um, I'm going to go Tuesday. 
Tuesday around Tuesday. two o'clock. Okay, so right now, so is that uh, issues that bring issues to your eyesight? You think? Mm -hmm. Is that bringing? issues to your is that bringing issues to your eyesight no no i'm still blind <laughs> <laughs> no you said you had some pressure behind your eyes yeah you got no, pressure it looks like they were feeling like really tired oh no, they still like that now no it's a, it's not an everyday it's a hit or miss it's a, it's a, you know it, it sometimes it happens sometimes it don't it was a it was like that every day in the hospital so i knew it and it was like after the first surgery Mm -hmm. Okay, can you see me good? I want to make sure you can see me. Can you see me? Okay, I just want to make sure. <laughs> Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Can you see my neck? Sad situation. Cut on it off. Huh? What? You know, just cutting it all off. You say cutting it I all don't off. I no bugs in there, I guess, right? Yeah, but I almost was going to do that, but I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cut it off. No. What is it? Just walked away? Yeah, I guess he pissed her off. Oh. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, don't it? Yeah, yeah. It happens. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I almost was going to do that, but I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cut it off. No. What is it? Just walked away? Yeah, I guess he pissed her off. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> they pay attention to everybody but themselves. It happens, don't it? Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Well, shit, I can understand that. I understand that. Yeah, I understand that very well. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep my 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 my, my psycho going. Cause this is right here. Ain't no, I ain't kill nobody. Ain't murder nobody. These folks have got murder charges. Getting out, shot so my fucking in the back of the head. I was looking at this one story. This guy was in jail, out on bond, five thousand dollars for of a 13 year old black dude out on a $5,000 bond. He got sentenced, found guilty, right? The judge was like, usually they remand you, right? They didn't remand him because he had to take care of some of his affairs. That dude left court, went to his ex-girlfriend's house, shot her twice, killed her and set the whole house on fire. Damn. Knowing this dude was a violent offender, and they broke up two years prior. What? I guess they gave him eight. They were going to sentence him eight, eight years, five to eight years for the count of, of the thirteen-year-old. That shit is crazy. I was that like, was, really? He was out on a five thousand-dollar bond. Uh, five thousand dollar bond. This is crazy, man. Bond. I bet right. everybody like, what the they fuck is you, going on? I got in you eight hundred thousand for a fucking video that's not even on your fucking. Personal Thank shit. You. It's on some random computer. So that shit is they crazy. Know, they know. It's not a random computer. It's his computer. That's not random. Truthfully, what it is, and they still sitting there trying to boost it and boost it in court and make all these assumptions. And that see, it's just like Quinn said, it's something. It's something. I don't know what that girl went in there and tried to make you out to be, which you know, oh yeah, that lizard's down here. Wow. Um, make you out You're to be like making you some. You know, well, right they got here. lizards to over here. You, wow. I, I was some type of monster, you know. So they trying to just figure out, you know. Oh, he need a high, 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 high bond. Let's get him on this because all them other charges are stupid, you know, petty charges. So, you know, it's crazy. And that one chick on her blog this morning she put out, 
she gonna put that other, remember I told you it's another Ernest in there or in Fulton? Right. He got that sawed off shotgun, marijuana, fleeing the police. Arm. I mean, we know about all that, Sonia. And I mean, clearly it wasn't even that. The thing, the thing to me was when I saw that initially, because that was, um, that was a couple people, including Sandra Rose, who did that. And, but if you look at the arrest date, there's no way that that person was arrested and never got out of jail. Um, that other Ernest Williams and Nesto was arrested roughly two months later. So this person was arrested, like, let's say May. Nesto was arrested in July. So it was just an easy process of elimination. And also when you request the damn mug shot, girl, bye. It wasn't, it wasn't him. So it was, it was some, you know, it was clearly an error. Um, but <clears throat> Everyone didn't report that. Okay. I'm robbery, all of that shit on his case. She put that up saying it was you. What? Put that on the blog saying, yeah, he, he also committed this last year in, in, in May. I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Well, that blogger made a mistake. Like, sis, you can't even do a live, okay? You couldn't make more than $100, all right? And then she gonna put the boy shit up there. And I had already seen his stuff because I was looking for you. And I ran across him and I was looking at his charge and I was like, no, that ain't him, you know? But I had read his charges and, and she put Well, the you didn't even need to read the charges. All you need to do is see the arrest date. He was arrested in May and never got bond, okay? Same boy shit up there. Five so it would stand to reason if somebody was arrested in May and never got bond, how are they gonna be arrested on the streets of Roswell um, two months later? OK, like that was that was the main thing for me. But because people kept talking about it and saying he was doing 23 months and I'm like, the person who did 23 months is the guy that's not him that was arrested two months before Nesto ever got arrested. But, you know, girl, whatever. Love it. One hundred and fifty pounds. One hundred and fifty pounds. You know, that's a kid. Thank you. Wow. I was like what? The f and they don't have it don't even have the middle name. It just has the first and last name. But I had to write her. I had to write that girl and, and, and tell her ass, stop, stop reporting fake, false, you know, stories. And they was, remember, they kept saying girlfriend in Florida. So they had put up, sure, I mean, not Shirley, um, Erica's address in Florida and tried to say Erica was the girlfriend and that you lived with her next door. Erica's house was next door to your house on whatever street that was, that 900 block, whatever. She tried to say that Erica lived, Erica was your next door neighbor and you lived over next door. They didn't even make sense what the fuck she was saying. How are you going to live next door to his wife's house? That makes the no damn sense. Right. I'm sitting here like, bitch, you just saying whatever I do. <laughs> you sound like the girl. Oh, my goodness. Really so he was living right next door to his wife's house with the girlfriend. That makes no sense. None of that shit makes sense. I was like, you, you on some stupidity shit. Dumb shit. Like, and, I, and then she gonna put the Google map on there so it shows you like you're going down the street looking at houses and stuff. I'm like, you go above and beyond just for you to get the whole, st whole story wrong. Everything they you got, said was wrong. Me? Hold on, hold on. They got me? Walking? No, no, her, 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 her. You know how you look for a house and you go on Google and, and you're going down the street right, on Google? Right, right. She gonna put <laughs> up your old house and the girl's house. I'm like, oh, they live right next door to each other. And he was living next door with Erica. <laughs> That shit makes no what? damn sense. None of it. None of it. She sound about as goofy as the state with their case. I was just like, what? Girl, please. All that. She knows how to lie. Let me tell you something. If Sonya knows how to do one thing, that's lie. Sis is an expert liar. Like, it's just, it's, it's, ma'am, ma'am can do that. Like, let me tell you, her superpower is making up a story. Okay. If someone's telling a story and she doesn't like it, sis, she got you. She gonna make up something on top of that. And she she is very dangerous. She is a lying ass trick for real. She's a she is a dangerous type woman. Yeah, that's like one at one plus one is five. That's how that how shit. Many, how many how many views they got? How many how many how many views they got? Around twelve o'clock today. I'm saying how many how, how many how, how, many, how many views, views they got today? How many views? But I, I oh. she had like 20 comments on it. I got her. 
I saw it an hour after she posted it. Then I had to go wow. in on people's comments and was like, make it make sense. Like, y'all so quick to believe prosecutors. But the other day, no, I wasn't really in comments like that. Oh, they she she posted that like 12 hours ago. And then when they posted, I mean, girl, would you just girl stop lying so much? And police, and we know they lie. Or whatever story they tell them, we know at least 70% of it is a lie. More than you know, it's more lie involved than truth. Oh, <coughs> uh, yeah, this is true. But it's people true. don't people don't care about that. No. No, they like they like the drama and the gossip of it all. And then they put their little spin on it and make it sound more than what it is. Girl, don't get sued. You can get sued with the rest of them. Yeah. 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 Hey, this is coming. Yeah. This is coming. Yeah. This is coming. I'm just trying to stay patient and keep my, my head together because this shit can get rocky in my brain. I'm not gonna lie to you, cause it's I, I see how anybody anybody innocent. Or anybody that ain't do ain't doing nothing to nobody can get fucked up so fast, mm -hmm. so fast. Yeah, and that that that's the killing part right there. That that's what really really bothered me right now. I tell you, mm -hmm. hit of some shit out and did, but I ain't taking no hit of shit I ain't did. And this right Thank here is you. not my this is not my character, and I just it's just fucking with me real bad, mm -hmm. real bad. Yeah. Yep. yep. So I got to fight for my innocence the best way I can. I got to figure that out as well. Yeah. I got to. So yeah. even the prosecutor said, been, hey, this ain't been. really his character, but we're going to throw it right on in there. We're going to throw it right on in there. Right. How you going like to go from this? How you go from this to this? I, didn't, I never had a lie detector test. Or none of that. I thought about that. They never right. gave me no interview, no nothing. I never had a lie detector test. You're supposed to give me a lie detector test. I can pass any fucking lie detector test. Mm -hmm. Any one of them. I've never they had an opportunity. They need to give her a lie detector test. That's what they yeah. need to do. Get at her. Have a, everybody that made a statement need a lie detector test. Yeah. I never had I never had my justice. I never had no opportunity to say nothing. I never had nothing. I, I never had my justice. I never had no lie detector test. I never had nothing. I never had nothing. They're supposed to give you a lie detector test. They've never, never had nothing, y'all. Nothing. They never did give me my justice. It's never. It's just been a bad day for me. Period. <laughs> Sonya is the worst. We about to put it out there. We about yeah, to put it out true. there. I never had a lot of ticket test. That lot never of had a lot of ticket test. Free. Mm -hmm. lot of free, but I never had free. a chance to do. They just throw shit on me, throwing me in and out, in and out, in and out, uh, putting more and more charges on my ass. But I, I, that's the part I just don't understand. That's, that's the, the killing due process. Part. That's You're the killing to have part. A lot of I must that have it. You, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. set me free. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was set me free. All parties involved need one. Yeah. All parties involved need one. She is the worst. She is awful. <laughs> that woman is trash. Okay. A mess. She just cosigns every damn thing, these two. Let's see what that looks like. Girl. Yeah. You need to get Erica one, the kid the kid one, or whoever else. All so parties it's, involved. It's not, all it's parties not fair. Involved. It's, it's not fair at all. That motherfucker shoot me in the back of my head with something that I didn't even do. Mm. That's some mm -hmm. sad shit. And you have motherfuckers riding Uber, doing lifts, shooting motherfuckers in the back of the head, and they out on bond. Mm. I just saw that. Okay. So oh, they, I they saw it in the paper. What yeah, the they arrested her. Do? I just saw that in the paper because you definitely didn't read it in the paper. He saw it in the paper. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They finally arrested her. Took him a year. No, 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 no. She got the fuck out on bond. Right. He says, that makes no sense. How could I do this and that? That makes no sense. Rather than I didn't do it. Absolutely. Great point, sis. I'm in the head. And that was fucked up. Like, how are you gonna shoot him? He wasn't even trying to he wasn't even aggressive or trying to he was trying to leave. She's out on bond right now. I'm shooting somebody in the head. And guess what? That she's not indicted yet. And, and guess what? Happened in 2001. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I saw the I saw the thing. The guy's eyes not right because the bullet went through his eye. That's right. You show sure right. You show sure right. And I'm mm -hmm. sitting here for this with a high ass goddamn celebrity bond. 
A celebrity <laughs> bond. So he lied. He lied in court and said all that stupid shit. Oh, he said he's going to flee. No, the fuck he didn't. Uh, where can I uh, flee? Where, flee where? Fucking everybody know me. She is it's, it's apparently a it's, she crazy man. I'm not, I can't even entertain that. Only thing I do now is keep my mind sane, keep prayed up, and, and keep looking at you the best way I can. And thank you so very much. Thanks so very much for uh, supporting me. And uh, well, you wouldn't just yet if I told. This you. is one of these days. If you're listening with headphones on, all you can hear is the toilets flushing in the background. This shit happened. You wouldn't even believe I was on the street. No, you wouldn't. Not the shit they talking. No, but I, you but wouldn't remember, I've been through a little bit with my sister going, her angry ass going to the police line, and then you got your little step doing that same shit, running to the police line. Yeah. So. It's a, it's, a, it's a sad situation. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to hold in there the best way I can. What you got going on the rest of this evening? It's the rocking back and forth for me. Are you guys noticing that? Like, it's like with these two, uh, it's, it's mental patient relationship You know hour. what I always do, maybe go, maybe go by the house to the kids, get some food and go back home. <laughs> That is a She's 1970 routine. You no, know, that's what grandmas do. They go to the, to the kids, grandma. huh? Yeah, that is true. That, that, yeah, you don't know move like a grandma, but you're right. You're sure right about that. <laughs> yeah. I am a grandma. Hmm. And what time are you leaving out tomorrow? I don't know. I think around two. Because my it, um, I land around four. I got to look okay. at my thing, my, my uh, flight, my flight information. What time? What is the course open tomorrow too? Is what open tomorrow? You must be on your high seat. I can see the little dots in the back. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. So the court open tomorrow too? Is the court open, open tomorrow. tomorrow? They're open course. tomorrow. Yeah, they're closed on Tuesday, but the courts are open tomorrow. Okay. I okay. Hope, I hopefully, I'll get my summons and um. You know, it's like a file or, you know, serve. I watch the evictions on TV. When people be coming to the door with the papers ready to put them out. And people be acting like they didn't, they had no idea. Like, what are you talking about, evicted? Like, you know you got served. <laughs> you know you ain't paid rent. I like, she's like, I did pay. I have been paying rent. I'm like, well, you got to move now. He's like, no, you got to get out right now. Take what you can get and get out right now. What? That's That's a lot of that going on. Come. When the sheriff come, if they stay, usually when the sheriff put the notice on the door, they move because they know once they come, everything right now, you got to be five minutes out. So usually right, when the sheriff right, right. Post, post a notice on the door, that's usually right. when they leave. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm, okay, I like your jeans. Jeans look good with your green shirt on. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that combination. Yeah. Nice mm -hmm. combination going on out. I'm sure it look cute. <laughs> yeah, it do, but it, it fits your, your, your attire, what you got going on. It's cuter on. when I stand up. Look, it's cuter when I stand up. That's all. Okay, that's good then. Tell your head around. Let me see your uh, magnificent hairstyle. <laughs> okay, cool. That, that, that That's nice on you. Okay, you worked that last night. How long did it take you to put that together? Man, my parts was not acting right. It took me an hour to do this. Because it's four ponytails. It's four across the front and then one in the back. One ponytail in the back because it's so thick. And then I put the thing around, you know, put it in one ponytail and then I put the weave around it. Yeah. Really? It, it, it was, yeah, it was a struggle. Because this, I was trying to make this part even with this part. Like oh. this. And one was a little higher than the other. Because my hairline is funny, you know? My hairline is funny, so... Yeah, you're, you you know what? You're a smart, you're a smart ass woman. That shit is amazing to me. It's certain things I could be thinking about, you pull it right out of my head. I, I already knew that already. <laughs> yeah, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. You ain't missing a beat. You're telling your age. You're telling your age. Yeah, that it's a good thing. No, no, I'm saying that the, the wisdom and the knowledge that you have to bring out the forefront. So it's good uh, on that. I'm trying to spend mm -hmm. it now. You already called me old. Well, no, I'm just telling you straight up. You said, uh, hey, I cut all this shit off. I go to talking and be a little different. 
But damn, by the time I get out, this shit gonna be fucking all gray or fail the fuck out. It's gonna turn white. They're gonna stretch you into white hair. Yeah, I got gray hair all right here on the part. It's white right here. It's growing in white. Is it? Like, yeah, like a row. It's just growing and growing white. I'm like, oh, oh, they. You don't need. You don't. Yeah, you don't need to be stressing too much now. Okay. I ain't gonna stress too much. We're gonna. I'm gonna get the guy so you can do your um your interview so you can get your 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 piece out there. Cause they gonna let you say it in court. Oh no, they not. No, they mm-hmm. not. They not. Mm-hmm. They're not. Yep. They're not. You, gotta your, you gotta get your piece out there. I uh, sure do, cause it's not fair mm-hmm. to me. It's not. This ain't fair. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So Monday. That's what I'm gonna work on Monday till I gotta go get on a plane. I'm gonna just work on that most of Monday, cause a lot of people are gonna be taking that day off anyway. So. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to set something up so we can get something done this week, Wednesday or something. Okay, cool. That sounds like a wonderful, wonderful idea. It's not not fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not saying everybody innocent, but this is a lot of them in here y'all are innocent. I know that for I a fact. I know that. I know that for a fact. Because I know yeah. they, a lot of the rest should never have happened. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, you too. Well. Yeah, I love you as How well. You Thanks. You uh, whatever. Three, whatever. Dirty. Call me around five. I ain't okay. doing shit all day. Okay, you gotta no, go to the bathroom. Oh, you, you, no. What you bouncing for? You got you bouncing over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love you very much. There you go with that slick shit. <laughs> okay, thank you so very much. I love you very much, beautiful. Just stay cool. Don't stress yourself out. Everything will be fine. You stress yourself. I got. I'm out here. I could. I could be occupied. Yeah. Yeah. You have nothing you know in there what? occupying you. Nothing. You're absolutely right. So thank you. I got right at thirty three dollars left. So I'm gonna stretch the fuck out of that thirty three dollars on there. I'll put a hundred on there when I leave. Yeah. Yeah. So I got thirty three dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Well thank you very I much. I love you. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss Y'all. They stressed me out, those two. Um I think he said I'm gonna stretch out of that $33 and instead of saying okay or hey I'll put I'll maybe let me put let me top it back off to a hundred she says oh I'll put another hundred for what what does he need a hundred and thirty three dollars worth of stuff for girl Mm-mm-mm. um I think I'll take a plea deal too if they indict him you're saying if they indict him you think he'll take a plea i don't know we gonna see he said he wasn't gonna plea for uh, felonies he said he wasn't gonna admit to guilt all right y'all i'm going to let you guys go this was so much fun do you all right on some keep your legs closed to married men all right I hope you enjoyed this live replay i will see you guys next time make sure again if you're new here subscribe, hit the notifications, and that way you'll be notified anytime I post another video. Bougie gang, thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.